It's not right that the, the people who are the oldest living continuous culture on earth are, are living in the middle of such a, a prosperous country, living such hard lives. We can do better than that, and we have to do better than that. When I came here all those years ago to Uluru, 30 years ago, I saw the disparity, and um, there was nothing I could do about it except to write a song. And even now, 30 years later, I can't do much on, on my own. I can see the need, but there's very little I can do about it. But being able to, to work with an organisation like World Vision that has the strength and the capacity and the organisational skills to be able to link other agencies together and achieve positive outcomes for communities was one of the revelations for me, that there are people out there who have the structures and who do care and can make change. I think what really attracted me and I admire about World Vision's approach is that uh, they work with community at the community's invitation and they're not a service provider but they're a facilitator that help the community realise their vision by joining, linking those service providers together to affect the right kinds of outcomes for the community and the community's vision. So there's this lovely cooperative sense at work. It's about relationship and trust is earned, not given. And World Vision understand that very well. This is where we come in. We live in a very prosperous country. And to think that we have such disadvantage at our back door is not satisfactory. Make a difference here tonight. You can talk to the World Vision crew who are only too happy to point you in the right direction. Go online, get engaged, you can find out more. It's a fantastic website with a lot of detailed information. You can give tonight, right here, to the World Vision Linking Hands project and start making that difference right now.